left-wing activists and liberal journalists were quick to mock former Representative Robert Francis Beto O'Rourke, DTX, on Wednesday evening after he told Vanity Fair that he was born to run for president. O'Rourke told Vanity Fair, You can probably tell that I want to run. I do. I think I'd be good at it. I want to be in it, O'Rourke said. Man, I'm just born to be in it, and want to do everything I humanly can for this country at this moment. Hours after Vanity Fair published its fawning cover story, O'Rourke confirmed to KTSM in Texas that he would announce on Thursday that he is running for president. I'm really proud of what El Paso did and what El Paso represents, O'Rourke reportedly texted the station. It's a big part of why I'm running. This city is the best example of this country at its best. The gushing Vanity Fair profile also framed O'Rourke as someone who, in contrast to President Donald Trump, can appear almost too innocent and decent to be a politician. But unlike Trump, O'Rourke can appear almost too innocent to be a politician, too decent, too wholesome, the very reason he became popular also the same reason he could be crucified on the national stage. I tell O'Rourke that perhaps he's simply too normal to be president. Whether you mend it or not, I take that as a compliment, he says. O'Rourke's critics on the left immediately pointed to his white privilege and mocked his weird as hell messiah-esque tone that they predicted will not serve him well in a presidential run. I'm just born to be in it as peak, white male privilege. And I say this as someone who generally likes Beto, a former Hillary Clinton aide told The Times, if a woman was presented with a similar choice, do that less ambitious but better for the party thing, versus more ambitious but longer shot thing, I don't see people being super understanding when she takes the latter.